Today we're cleaning the garden beds together. I have bean seeds to harvest. I just purchased my strawberry starts, so I'm gonna change the location of where they're at. They are currently sitting with my tomatoes and that's actually going to be a full bed of tomatoes i'm going to take those out i'm going to relocate a couple plants and hopefully get the beds ready for some soil amendments and i need to lay out my peas already and i need to build a trellis for them so that's going to be one of the last things that i do today i recently talked about these asian greens Tatsoi, I really, really love them. I'm not gonna move these because I wanna test this corner out. I'm gonna add all the strawberries here in this bed, so all of this is gonna, these are the strawberries that I had from the fall that I'm gonna move, and these are the new ones that I just purchased. Guess what I just found. Remember I had sweet potatoes here? and i put these like too late but i just put them just to give it a try and i'm pulling them out and i found a little mini sweet potato we're gonna do this together let's see if we get anything yeah nothing on this one i don't think that there's a tube oh, maybe there is a tuber in here well, there was a tuber. Oh, I cut it off. Let's see what's in here. I was gonna have sweet potatoes. Isn't that awesome? You just never know what you're gonna find. This is the dragon's tongue and I feel some seeds in here. This is a little soft, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be any good. If it comes out, I think it's okay. Might be able to pave some of these seeds. Look beautiful. I'm not sure what variety this one is, but you see how crispy it is? This is what you really want. And let's open it up. These I'm going to keep separate from the stash that I bought because I'm going to put these in different cells indoors and see if they actually germinate. Let's grab one of these. This is what you want. See how, <gasps> look, these are black beans. How cute. Over here on the peppers, they have very small leaves and they were not doing really good because the leaves kept getting eaten by the rats. I'm going to harvest all the peppers that these plants have and then I'm gonna cut them back heavily and hopefully maybe I don't have to repeat these. Maybe they will start on their own. I'm hoping if not I will still have some peppers ready and then we have a marigold here that I'm gonna get rid of and I'm gonna cut back this oregano and I think back here we've got some peppers that didn't do so well so these are gonna completely go in the very back I've got some blue Victoria salvia that I'm gonna cut back just to the very bottom there and see if those will come back Harvest. Got a lot of peppers and I kept some of the salvia. And then everything is super short, which I actually like it. I'm excited to see what we're going to do with the space, if they're going to do good. If not, we're going to take them out and put brand new ones. I had no idea I had this one. <laughs> I really thought it was just these three. It was really small it didn't grow much so i need to pay attention to that one this year i still have four eight nine i had one more over here but it didn't make it and i will replace it so i'll add a new one there oh look i left some peppers these are my carrots those are staying there and then the victoria blue salvia i cut it back a lot and maybe it'll come back here's a view of my current compost and it smells really good. Look, I have a friend there that's looking for some food. One thing you wanna do is make sure you cut everything back small so it composts much quicker. I'm gonna take these down. They're just too big and they're dried up. I'm going to trim back the basil and just do some cleaning. There's a couple weeds in here that I need to get rid of. I 
have been holding on to these okras to collect the seeds. Let's open them up. It has some mold though. It's quite a few seeds. I didn't know what this was going to look like. I just trimmed back the tomato. I didn't want anything hanging over anymore. I cut it back really hard because I want to see if maybe I can save these as well. And I only left this one just because it has these two tomatoes. And I just wanted to give it a try. And then back here, I'm keeping these tomatoes for sure. And then over here, I had some trailing tomatoes coming down and I cut those off. In this corner, I had some sweet potato. And I'm just gonna pull it to see if there's anything over here. Looks like something was forming. How neat, that's really exciting. Those sweet potatoes were from starts that I grew indoors unintentionally. I took them off the sweet potato, I put them in a cup of water and they grew roots like crazy. I just snuck them in the garden and then I got to find that out. So that was pretty neat. Now we're gonna move on to these beds over here. I'm finally gonna take this one down. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> pretty soon, but I have some zinnias here that are really old. Probably going to move these lavenders soon. Not today though. I'm gonna take all that's retired. I'm gonna remove those peppers, clean up that vine. Those pumpkins have been there forever. So I'm gonna take those out and then probably remove a lot of the Victoria salvia and all the weeds that are growing in between. Same thing over here. It's quite different, huh? It had a lot of weeds. And turns out that really these two beds right here they hardly get any sun so I know that this year if I want to be successful in the fall slash cool season then I have to put established plants here so they at least stay growing or even if they don't grow too much at least this bed will stay full I left these peppers one of you suggested that and then another thing that really surprised me this year was the snapdragons so I'm gonna go ahead and leave just a piece and see if maybe I don't need to plant these again and these have been here since February of last year so almost an entire year I'm doing the same over here I'm leaving all the snapdragons and the Victoria blue salvia even though I don't want it I'm just gonna leave it just to see what it does in the next few weeks and look at this snapdragon I mean it just keeps going and going and going I had a lunchbox pepper Back here, I actually had four, but only one <laughs> survived, and it even wanted to grow a little pepper there. But cut it back as well, and maybe we don't have to do so much work. I had a lot of cilantro that reseeded here that I had no idea I had. I knew I had a little bit, not this much. And then snapdragons are going there. I think this was a basil that I got, which I'm gonna take away it's just gonna get too big for this area so i've cut it back a lot i just didn't completely take it out and then i really do think that this is brussels sprouts but sometimes i wonder if it is oh yeah i think it is buds there on this side i cut back this potato vine a lot it's not coming out through here anymore and i left just a little bit so that front area isn't bare but it's gonna go i'm gonna put something different there I gave the rosemary a little trim and I'm doing the same, keeping a little bit of the peppers here just to see if anything else happens. And I just cleaned this bed up a little bit just to get rid of a lot of the weeds and I had this mint here that I didn't take care of. It's still wet. It's still alive so I might just trim it back and see if I can still keep it and plant it. I totally forgot it and it's dying on me. And I am leaving the sunflower for now. 
I'm gonna get a, my bird feeder box put in pretty soon and I'm gonna harvest those seeds for it. And I've got the compost going. This is actually going to be leaf mold and if I need some more to put in the other compost, I will. We have made some progress. Things looking nice and clean. And we turn over, you can see the rest. It looks so pretty. I finally feel like I've accomplished a lot today. This bird. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. I always wonder how people maintain their gardens. So I hope that this was helpful. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check my other video. I will link my latest one right here. And stay tuned for the next one that's going to be my backyard orchard. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,